today I want to talk a little bit about politics. Specifically, did you see a while back that the major news networks refused to air a speech by President Obama? A, a pretty important speech, I might add. Uh, the reason the networks gave for not airing the speech? That it was too political. Of course it was political. The man is the President of the United States. Everything he says is, by definition, political. Can you think of anything more pathetic, more blatantly, an attempt to deprive the American people of vital information? Well, as it happens, you can. For not that long ago, certain conservatives were pressing the GOP-controlled Senate not to allow President Obama to give the State of the Union address. This is insane. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, politics have always been a blood sport in America, but this is new. At least not in recent history, there's been nothing quite like this. Perhaps not since, oh, the end of the Civil War. There has been no similar attempt to completely silence and isolate a sitting President of the United States of America. Now, like him or not, he, he, President Obama, is the president. I happen to like him. I voted for him. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that someone out there has decided that you personally do not have a right to the news, to know what's going on. And that's very wrong. It is evil. Which is why, indeed, I know some fear. My fear is that there is worse coming. My fear is that there may be people out there plotting to remove a government by means which are not constitutional. Or to put it another way, I fear there may be the scent of treason on the wind. I hope that I am wrong. But if I am not wrong, let us be prepared to act.